Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2Blue coming back at you again. I just want to do a quick video. First of all, I just want to say, y'all, every time the Cowboys lose, these trolls come in like, like roaches. And, you know, normally I don't, I just ignore it, but some of it is just annoying as hell. Like, I'll be honest with you, like, if you don't like the channel, if you don't like what I got to say, if you don't like what Mark Michael Anthony Fitness, Law Nation, um, Vosh Lombardi, or, or Foots got to say, you don't got to follow none of us. And especially if you're not a Cowboy fan, why? I got personal friends of mine that don't follow me because they don't like the Cowboys. So it, it don't hurt me none. I'm I'm going to continue to be great. I'm going to continue to be positive, and I'm going to continue to be doing my, my, um, my channel, whether you like it or not. So, you know, that ain't nothing but the devil, and I ain't got nothing to do with that. So, um, yeah, so if you're coming in here with negativity, you can exit right now, and that's just how I feel about it. You don't even need to comment because, especially if you're not a fan, because I don't want to hear it, point blank. And another thing is, most importantly, don't disrespect me. Because at the end of the day, I don't respect none of you guys. At the end of the day, you guys see all of me. This is me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't hide in front of no internet, in front of no camera, no nothing. I'm out here in the open. But some of these trolls out here, they hide behind being internet thugs and just saying whatever they want to say. But, you know, when it all comes boils down to it... Um, they're not going to be a man and, and, and say it up front. But at the end of the day, I'm not worried about that. But on to something positive about our Dallas Cowboys. Um, CeeLo Philo, if you guys knew that he hurt his eye in the game, he got poked in it. Um, and then he got replaced by Adam Redman. Now, Adam Redman came in the game and was like a turnstile. Like, he came in the game and literally was just, that. I mean, the pressure was just on. And Dak didn't, didn't have no room to do anything. You know, three-step drop back, he was already getting pressure. Um, Cee Filo, they said that he's going to be okay. They're monitoring him day-to-day, -day, like Jason Garrett says. He says that his vision is still not great in the eye, so um, his status for a next week's game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is up in the air right now. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, as our offensive line tries to heal, um, you know, that's – that's pretty much a weakness for us right now. Um, there used to be a strength for the Cowboys, but, you know, like I said before, injuries are inevitable. They happen. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to keep moving forward and try to get your guys, you know, back back rolling. You know what I mean? So um, Ezekiel Elliott said in the interview, he was like, look, it's an embarrassing game. You know, this is not like us. Um you know, he said all things he was supposed to say. But in my opinion, I look at it like this. Sometimes you got to get your ass beat to realize to get you off your high horse. Um, the Cowboys won five games, so they were thinking that they were invincible. I don't know why, but you never, you should never feel that way. And I also have to realize, too, these players are young. Most of them are in their mid, mid to late 20s. So they're still, you know, in that phase of their life is like, okay, um, that they feel like they're invincible when they're when they're on a win streak. But the thing about it is, some I think it was, and I hate to say it, sometimes it's good to get get beat like that because it brings you back to reality and lets you realize, hey, um, you can be beat and you have playoffs at stake here, and you better get it together or you're not gonna make it to the playoffs. You know, messed around and lost the game. The Eagles won and the Redskins won. And what did I say before? You cannot sit here and hope for other teams to do things for you because they're going to let you down every time when it's time. The only thing you can control is what you can control by winning games and making sure that you're on top of your game. So, again, um, this is the last I'm going to talk about the Colts because we're going to move on to Tampa Bay. And um, I think that this team is going to be hungry because they done got embarrassed. And when you get embarrassed, you're like, I don't want to feel that way again. And that's just human nature. You're going to try to get better the next week, and you do, you're you going to do what you got to do. Um, <clears throat> as far as um, injuries go, um, I don't know what's uh, – Jerry Jones says that uh, – and we've been talking about him all, all year, about coming and when he's going to come and this and that. You know, he, they claim that he's still dealing with his ankle injury with David Irving. Um, they said that he's going to come back, but that's what Jerry says, but I don't know. Um, 
we'll see. I, I look at it like this. I'm not going to hope and wish for that because, you know, I've been we've been hoping and wishing for David Irving to come back all season. But um, <laughs> if he come back, he come back. If not, we only got two more games left before the playoffs. So it is what it is. Tavon, um, I don't know if they're trying to save him for the playoffs. I don't know what they're doing with him. But, you know, when I see him on the sideline dancing and moving around, it don't seem like that groin is an issue. But, you know, again, I'm on the outside looking in, so I don't know exactly what they're doing with him. But we'll see what's going on with that. Um, I will be doing, uh, I guess, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my videos on Tampa Bay, and we're going to be talking about what's going on with them and our matchups with them. And the thing about Tampa Bay, though, I will say right now, is that their offense is – they score – well, not score. They get a lot of – they fill up the stat sheet. When you look at their stat sheet, they get a lot of yards. They Their their receivers get a lot of passes, but they have trouble getting the ball into the end zone. Sound familiar, though? Um, they will make mistakes. If you if you put pressure on Winston, he will make a mistake. He will throw you an interception. Um, I think that this team is, is most likely going to be trying to – redeem themselves because you know when like I said when you get embarrassed like that you don't you don't want to ever feel like that again so I believe that we're going to see a much better cowboy team this 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 week um as far as their attitude so we'll see what happens with that but um uh, with that being said y'all that's all I got for right now so just wanted to holler at y'all for a quick second but uh it's your boy E2 Blue always keeping it real I'll talk to y'all soon have a great day